the Finance Minister Colm Imbert sought to increase the national appropriation for fiscal 2024 by $2.3 billion during the media budget review in Parliament today. He stated that the additional money was deemed an inex inescapable expenditure for several heads of expenditure. However, he noted that while the government is seeking to increase its budget, its deficit is decreasing. When Imbert read the budget in October 2023, he predicted the deficit to be $5.196 billion. However, he reported a significant decrease. The government recorded a deficit of $1,170,000,000, some three billion, 513 million lower than the projected outcome. This was as a result of lower than projected revenue of just over 800 million, as well as a reduction in expenditure. While the deficit decreased, Trinidad and Tobago experienced a decrease in expected revenue from the energy industry. Finance Minister Colm Imbert noted that due to the internationally determined prices of oil and gas, Trinidad and Tobago has little control over the revenue gained, making the economy vulnerable. Despite this, he does not expect it to remain that way. But because of all the foreign policy initiatives and the foreign cooperation, both at the corporate level and at the country level, we expect that this situation will be reversed in or around 2026 to 2027 in terms of the volumes of natural gas that will become available. Meanwhile, the finance minister defended his government's decision to refinance some of the nation's debt. He refuted the opposition's claim that refinancing increases public debt. If you are borrowing money to repay principal, that does not count in your fiscal outturn. And it's only logical. Because if you are borrowing money to reduce debt, then your overall debt does not go up. But that seems to be a concept that is too complex for members opposite. Imbert also embraced the IMF report released earlier this week, which stated that Trinidad and Tobago's economy is the strongest it has ever been in a decade, with low rates of inflation and public debt. 